This is the Scoop for Thursday. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. A referendum that asked Hillsborough County voters to increase their property taxes to help teachers was blocked from the ballot by county commissioners yesterday. The tax of $1 on every $1,000 in assessed value would have brought in an estimated $177 million to ease chronic teacher shortages and raise teacher pay. The Tampa Bay Times reports that state law would not allow the county board to kill the tax outright. So commissioners used an obscure law that allowed the board to rule on the timing of the referendum. Republican Commissioner Josh Wastel moved that the referendum date should be changed from this November to November of 2026. He was joined by the three other Republicans in a four to three party line vote to delay the referendum. In a news conference following the vote, Hillsborough County School Superintendent Van Ayers slammed the vote as an attack on public education and the school board. Our school board voted in April to invest in our students and allow voters to make a decision. County commissioners have an administrative duty to place the referendum on the ballot, but some are refusing to do their job. Representative Kathy Castor called the decision short-sighted, wrong, and a slap in the face to Hillsborough students, families, and teachers who deserve better. The St. Petersburg City Council met Tuesday ahead of a final vote today to discuss the Rays Stadium and redevelopment deal. Member Brandy Gabbard expressed environmental concerns with the stadium plans. The draft says the developers would use good faith and commercially reasonable methods to get LEED certifications for the stadium. LEED, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is the most widely used green building rating system. But Gabbard says those certifications focus on sustainability, not resiliency. I would much rather look back on this after it is built and be proud of the way it is built versus being proud of a placard on the side of the building that says LEED certified. The draft also promises energy conservation by implementing solar power. Predicted costs of the project are estimated at six and a half billion dollars. Funding for a popular homeowner hurricane hardening program ran out just two weeks after applications opened up. The My Safe Florida Home program provides up to $10,000 in grant money for hurricane home protection aimed at lowering insurance costs for qualified homeowners. Despite the addition of $200 million in funds to the program by the Florida legislature this year, the money was gone two weeks into the application process that began July 1st. New applications have been paused. Homeowners who've already had initial inspections can still apply for grants. Hillsborough County's canvassing board is meeting this morning to oversee what's known as a public logic and accuracy test of ballot scanners. During the test, stacks of pre-filled ballots are scanned through a random selection of ballot scanners that will be used in the upcoming election. The test is used to confirm that the scanners are reading every position on the ballot and counting votes accurately. Election supervisors are required by Florida law to perform the accuracy test prior to every election. Upon completion, the equipment will be sealed and kept under camera surveillance until being deployed to voting locations. After the election, the canvassing board will oversee a post-election audit to verify the accuracy of reported results. Florida's most popular freshwater game fish has a new name. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission announced yesterday that what was known as the largemouth bass in most of the state is now called the Florida bass. Using advanced genetic analysis, a recent study by Yale University determined the Florida bass to be its own species, separate from the largemouth largemouth bass. While the name change will affect how the fish is referred to in regulations and other communications, FWC says it will not affect anglers fishing for the iconic freshwater sport fish. I'm Lisa Marzilli with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.